Here we are in one of my favourite churches of our diocese here, St. Bede's in Basingstoke, in order to see their impressive baptismal font. It's a full immersion font. The person to be baptised can enter fully into the water and go right down under it and then come out on to the other side. And St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, he explains very well for us the meaning of this. He says, when we were baptised in Christ Jesus, we were baptised into his death. In other words, when we were baptised, we went down into the tomb with him, joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. And he goes on to say, you must now consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. Baptism is the great washing away of the old, of the old way of life, in order to live the new way of life as a disciple of Christ. And one of the most impressive moments of the Easter Vigil liturgy is the blessing of the waters of the baptismal font, and then shortly afterwards, the baptism of new members of the church. And the blessing prayer, it's a very long prayer, um, but it's a very beautiful one because it recalls the events of history in the Old Testament when God used water in order to point towards and show forth what baptism is all about and its grace, such as when the people of Israel, passing dry shod through the Red Sea, set free from slavery in Egypt, now enter the Promised Land. But that prayer comes to a dramatic climax when the priest plunges the baptismal candle three times into the waters of the font, saying, May the power of the Holy Spirit, Father, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ in baptism into his death may rise again to new life with him. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, symbolised in the Easter candle, is literally impregnating the water with the Holy Spirit. And it brings us back to our own baptism and brings us back to Christ's baptism in the Jordan. Jesus, of course, didn't need to be baptised as God the Son. He was, by definition, sinless. But as the preface of the Mass for the Feast of St. John the Baptist explains, Christ went down into the waters in order to make holy those waters of baptism. So as we think about all of this today, let's pray not only for all those who are about to be baptised at Easter, but also for ourselves, that we may be renewed and that we may be filled with all the joy and the vigour of baptism in our own lives and truly live lives worthy of our Christian vocation.